Hi, this is Sarun and Balakrishnan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to use bseindia.com website for gathering different information about a publicly traded stock. So once you click bseindia.com and you land on their landing page, usually you will have a different data with regard to USD to INR conversion on their landing page and the index performance on this particular day. So this is how the index had performed today and the top stocks and the stocks that gone down and the stocks that had high turnover where there is high number of volumes that were traded in these stocks. And if you come down, you can also find uh, the futures and options market which we will cover in the subsequent videos so now you have uh, multiple options like about bse investor relations and uh, investor uh, relations markets and also again a few other options that will again help in our journey throughout which we will explore one by one and the most important one being is the get a quote so below get a quote you have uh, derivatives mutual funds debt markets and currency derivatives so here i can enter the company that i want to find so let's take infosys so once i click infosys i can actually find the infosys here it will take me to the Infosys price. So where now it will show me the stock price of Infosys that's again getting traded as of today, where you can actually find that the 52 low, weak, low price, high, as well as in terms of, if you scroll down, you can actually find the revenue that they have made in the last quarter and before, and you can actually access their annual reports. You can find the latest announcements that's filed by the company, the shareholding pattern as well as other necessary details that will again help you and here again you can actually find uh, the financials like the quarterly results and the annual report so if i click annual reports uh, i can actually find the pdf files that are uploaded by the company every year and when i click corporate actions i can actually find uh, the dividend those are again paid by the Infosys company over the years. So there are different uh, options that are again available in Bombay Stock Exchange, which is exhaustive, which we will explore uh, in the subsequent uh, videos. I hope you uh, get comfortable using the PSE India website in terms of using their basic features so that we can able to understand advanced concepts as we move along so i hope you find this video useful and please feel free to subscribe to my channel sarun and balakrishnan in youtube and press the bell icon so that you get latest updates whenever a new video gets launched so i have multiple playlists created in terms of understanding health insurance cognitive biases and stock markets you can choose the one that's most interesting to you to learn We'll see you next time.